Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another Feral Druid based video. Today we're going to be discussing how Feral Druid is feeling overall going into Shadowlands. Are we ready for release? And speaking of release, the Shadowlands pre-patch event has just been released into the PTR. So you can go on your Battle.net launcher, you can download the PTR and you can test out Feral Druid and all the other classes in the game that you want to check out before uh, the pre-patch event actually launches so you can go into pre-patch already with an idea in mind of what you might end wanting uh, might want to end up leveling going into shadowlands so yeah check that out and let me know what you're kind of excited about are uh, and and how you're feeling about feral going into shadowlands if you don't currently have beta right now in general i'm going to kind of go through a quick fire round of how we're looking so we haven't had a massive change to our kind of our general toolkit from our utility to our dps rotation it's pretty much unchanged we have just had a few nerfs and buffs along the way. So Sabertooth now, when used from stealth, increases in damage by 100%. So that's really cool in terms of in use with Incarnation. It now means that when you're shredding an Incarn, you're going to be using more powerful shreds, which may make up for the fact that we're losing Wild Flesh Rending and we're losing Jungle Fury, two very, very potent um, Azerite traits. Of course, we're losing our Essences and our Corruption as well. But that's okay because we're getting legendary soul binds and conduits and those are all looking very very strong the conduits are looking great so far but we can kind of cover that in just a moment so we have the change to saber tooth it now means that we're going to be using rip more often in combat rather than just being able to basically put rip up on in the first two seconds of combat and then just maintain it forever this is a slight nerf to saber tooth as we will have fewer ferocious bites overall in a single target fight but that's okay because it now emphasizes a better playstyle of actually weaving in rips and maintenance bleeds there, which I think is better overall for the average Feral player and just kind of gets you more involved. Lunar Inspiration is getting buffed by certain legendaries, so it could end up being beating out Sabretooth as you're going to be having to reapply rips anyway. May as well get an extra little bonus with a Moonfire, eh? So we'll have to see how that one plays out in terms of pure damage output. Number Tuning still hasn't fully been done yet, so... I know a lot of people are saying, hey, how's Feral's damage right now in the beta? I really, really, really wouldn't look into it too much right now. I would, I promise you, wait until actual release and number tuning that occurs more so in like Heroic Week. Like the release of Heroic uh, uh, Castle, Castlevania, whatever it is. When that releases, then we'll be able to see really how Feral does in terms of number output. We have had Heart of the Wild added to our talent pool. It's an interesting change. I don't see it being massively useful, but uh, it has some funny interactions with like going into balance, uh, go using balance affinity, going into boomkin, and using convoke the spirits if you have the night fake covenant, which looks pretty fun. We then have blood talents, which is going to be um, going to be working. So if you use three, any three different combo point generators, means that you're going to prop your next two rips or ferocious bites are going to be improved or are empowered by 30 percent of course this still allows you to snapshot your rip which i think is really good gameplay and it's a little bit watered down it's not super complex and it's not super punishing if done incorrectly though it does it does offer a little bit of nuance where you do have to be careful with making sure that you pull your energy early enough that's in general like most of the changes there we have to again see like the final number tuning in terms of what is going to be the best talent setup for what situation but in general feral's looking pretty much unchanged which i think is actually a good thing i don't think we need too much changing really our base dps rotation has everything we really need just a nice change to berserk would be very very desirable but we'll have to see based on the you know the, we had a conversation, me, Sloot, and Guilty the other day around about, like, uh, about Feral Druid and, and its position now and going into Shadowlands, and, and I know that Blizzard was watching that, and hopefully they kind of run with that and make some changes to Berserk and a few other little tweaks here and there, you know, giving us trends and innovate and whatnot would be very nice in Mythic Plus so that we can compete with Boomkins, finally. And potentially Leader of the Pack. Leader of the Pack would be a nice bonus, but we'll have to wait and see if that ends up being a thing. In terms, then, of the leveling experience, the leveling experience was very comfortable for me. There was no point where I felt truly, truly in danger. I mean, I had a couple deaths here and there when I'm not paying attention or whatnot, but, I mean, come on. Who's not going to die on their first run through, right? Maybe. I don't know. But we have strong survivability. We now have Boxkin and Survival Instincts, which is really 
actually, I'm, it's growing on me. It is growing on me, and uh, it's nice to have that bark skin just on a quick cooldown, and you can kind of just run through that, and you basically have bark skin up for each and every pack, more or less, or like every second pack or so. I was managing in four 80 item level gear to pull between like five and seven mobs at a time. Uh, pff, pretty comfortable. As long as I had like Convoke the Spirits up, or like a cooldown, or like Kyrian or something, then I was able to do that quite comfortably, which was cool. Of course, using a lot of our just natural utility, Typhoon, Mass Root, and whatnot, you can kind of just, you know, kind of just get into the action, pull pretty much as much as you feel comfortable with. Uh, like, as much as kind of there is around you, as many mobs as there are around you, and, and be fine. So, going into Torghast, Torghast has been a lot of fun. There are some very interesting interactions with the anima powers. Because these anima powers, because we're a hybrid class, like, we have, we get heals, we get defensives, and we get a lot of, like, interaction of Boomkin abilities with the Feral stuff, and... It makes for some pretty funny uh, gameplay, and I'm sure I'll be releasing a Torghast video soon enough so you can check out how that works and how Torghast is looking from a Feral POV. In terms of Mythic Plus, I think we're looking reasonably, reasonably strong. We are lacking spec utility. I've mentioned uh, the lack of, say, Innovate or Trends means that we're now, we're, we're continuing to be less powerful than a Boomkin, and I think that conversation needs to switch to, we want a Druid DPS. If, of course, they want a Druid DPS. It's not a case of, oh, we only want Boomkin, not Feral. So a little bit of extra or inline utility would help with that. And then it comes into our potential for strong DPS output. That will really guarantee us a spot if we can pull some big numbers. Now, currently, we do have uncapped AoE in the, t in the form of Primal Wrath and Thrash. Swipe and Brutal Sash are capped at five targets. So it would be... It would be interesting to see just how powerful our AoE is compared to a lot of the other specs in the game. I know Unholy is being kind of reined in a little bit, though it's probably still going to be very strong. Fire Mage is obviously kind of uh, just not as strong as it is now in 8.3, and neither is BM, so that opens up the door a little bit more for other AoE specs. Feral Druid could end up being very strong when you combine our uncapped AoE with, with certain legendaries, allowing us to be a very primary damage uh, powerhouse. So we're looking decently strong in Mythic Plus, though I wouldn't expect us to be the meta spec just because it's a lot to ask when there are only three DPS spots available. In terms of the rating and the PvP, so I haven't been able to do any raid testing so far, but that doesn't mean that Feral isn't good or anything like that. I think Feral will be strong. Feral always seems to be decently strong in raid. Even if it's not meta, it always seems to perform fairly well. And like guild by guild, I, I get a lot of good re responses from people. In terms of PvP, I also have not yet tested a whole lot of PvP, though I don't imagine there are going to be many big changes. We are getting Cyclone back, which will be strong, though it isn't castable from cat form, and of course you will have to hard cast it. So no more of that instant Cyclone, which I think is probably fair. I think that was a little bit strong in parts, but the addition of, um, like, I guess Heart of the Wild and stuff might, might have some interesting play in PvP. Apart from that... Um, I mean, Feral Frenzy is still strong. Incon's been buffed a little bit, just indirectly, and same with Lunar Inspiration, so we could see some interesting, like, multi-dot bleed burst damage builds coming in from PvP sides of Feral, and that's probably where we're going to end up shining. That's normally where we end up shining, but yeah, in general, uh, we're looking overall pretty strong. I am positive about Feral. I am confident, or I am fairly confident that we're going to go into Shadowlands pretty pretty strong and if we start out with a bang i think that we can, can kind of get ahead of the curve then i think that that'll set us up with a good perception from the community from the get-go uh, from the get-go not the gecko and if we can sustain that for the duration of the expansion then we'll be in good shape but let me know what you guys think in the comment section if you're feeling positive about feral i want to hear from you i want to hear what things you're looking forward to with feral and what you kind of what your game plan is with Feral. Are you looking to main it? Is it going to be your ult? Are you moving away from it completely? And uh, yeah, what content are you excited about? I want, to, I want to hear from you. Let's get some positivity going with Feral Druid and convince everyone that we're stronger than, uh, than they may think. Alrighty, and if you want to catch me live going through a lot of these things in beta, then you can go over to twitch.tv slash cybeslat and find me there most days, Monday to Saturday from 12 o'clock UK time till about 6, 7, 8 o'clock in the evening. Sometimes I do even later streams and have beers and whatnot and have a good time. So see you guys all over there. Take it easy.